Hi, this is Christine. It is September 1st, 2014. It's in the morning. Yesterday I was in Genesis, um, the book of Genesis. I am I'm reading the Bible cover to cover, and um, when I finish the book, I just go back and start all over again and then keep working my way through it. So I am back in Genesis again. And yesterday I was in Genesis 38 and something came to me that I hadn't seen before. Um, this is about Tamar and Judah after Judah's wife dies. And it was told Tamar saying, Behold thy father-in-law, which is Judah, goeth up to Timnath to shear his sheep. And she put her widow's garments off from her and covered her with a veil and wrapped herself and sat in an open place which is by the way to Timnath for she saw that Sheila that's uh, Judah's third son was grown and she was not given unto him to wife when Judah saw her he thought her to be an harlot because she had covered her face. Okay, here's another one. Matthew 27, verse 51. <clears throat> and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake and the rocks rent. And then... Um, Luke 23 verse 45 and the sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst okay and then this is what else came to me when um, I was reading about Tamar <clears throat> this is 2nd Corinthians 3 verse 12 and I think I might go all the way down to the bottom to verse 18 Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which was abolished, or which is abolished. But their minds being, were blinded. For until this day remaineth the veil the same veil untaken away by the reading of the Old Testament which veil is done away in Christ but even unto this day when Moses is read the veil is upon their heart nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord when a person's heart shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the Lord Okay, what came to me is if people have a veil still over their eyes or their heart where they can't see or understand or interpret the Lord or what he's trying to tell you. Okay, this is going to be, um, oh boy, kind of harsh. What came to me is Tamar, what I read at the beginning. She had a veil over her face, and Judah took her, thought she was a harlot. <clears throat> because a harlot apparently covers her face 
I'm not talking about a wedding veil. I'm talking about a different kind. Tamar covered her face with a veil and pretended to be a harlot. And when Judah saw her with a covered face, with the veil of her face, he also thought she was a harlot. Guys, if you still have a veil over your face, over your eyes, where you can't see what the Lord's trying to tell you, and your heart still has a veil over it where you can't understand what he's trying to get through to you, you might still be a harlot with the world, with Babylon. God doesn't want a harlot for a wife, guys. He wants a virtuous, virginess, a virgin woman. He wants somebody who her eyes are looking to him because he's her, her lover, her partner, her best friend. He wants a woman whose heart, her eyes are focused on him. Her heart loves only him and just wants to please him and serve him and make him happy. That's the kind of woman that God's looking for. He's not looking for a harlot who, who is willing to go out and sleep with anybody who gives them a smile and, um, you know, okay, let's go at it. I mean, he's... Guys, search your souls, search your heart, search your mind, search your eyes. Just pray and search yourself. Ask God to reveal things to you because if you are still in adultery, um, being a harlot with the world, that veil is still going to be over your eyes and over your heart. And that's why you can't see or understand or interpret things that God is trying to show you. But just like how I read in Matthew, <clears throat> the scripture says, when their, or sorry, that's Hebrew, um, when their heart shall be turned back to the Lord, the veil will be removed. So, this is what came to me yesterday just from those two verses in Genesis about Tamar putting a covering on her face I mean this whole thing just opened up to me so please search your search your hearts guys if you feel like there's a veil on you still because you can't see what the Lord's trying to show you or you can't hear him or you can't understand the messages he's trying to give you because he does speak in parables <clears throat> there might still be a veil on you and if there is don't be hard on yourself just see it for what it is thank God that he's showing you it and and just pray and change guys that's all you know life's like a flowing river you just go with the bends just change but um yeah, this was pretty big for me um, when it hit me yesterday. So hopefully it helps somebody else. And um, know that the Lord loves you and He's there for you. He'll help you. Okay? You don't want a veil over your eyes or a veil over your heart. You want to be able to see Him clearly. And you definitely don't want to have a veil over your face because you're a harlot and it's keeping you in the darkness and the veil is keeping you from seeing him clearly you want the veil lifted so you don't look you're not looking through a veil anymore but you actually see him for who he truly is okay god bless and um have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.